Hey, what's up, Brokies? It's Thunderstruck115, and I hope y'all are having a good day today. Just full of positivity and happiness, dude! <laughs> because we are going to once again be responding to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Grifter Gaming. Fuck off. Like, I had people going like, you're encouraging NVIDIA to constantly raise the price. Good, I fucking hope they double it next year, you sick piece of shit. So, what exactly has the Great Grifter done this time? Well, it looks like Big Man Gamers took him under his wing and indoctrinated him into becoming a PlayStation fanboy, because the logic that Griffin is gonna be using in this video is the exact same kind of logic that I'd expect from a PlayStation fanboy. But what is this about? Well, recently, Microsoft decided to announce a new Xbox Series X bundle that includes the game Forza Horizon 5. And Griffin decided to spin this like it was some sort of price increase by Microsoft, when, unless you live in India, no, the price is not increased, because the price of this Forza bundle is the same price you'd be paying if you bought a Series X and a copy of the game individually. I mean, actually, technically, you'd be saving a little bit of money because you also get all the DLC for it. But enough beating off the bush, let's go ahead and get right into this shit. Yo, what's up, gamers? I hope you guys are all having a great day today, just full of so much positivity and happiness, dude, because it doesn't really bring me great pleasure to make this video, but, you know, as a gaming YouTuber, I feel like it's the utmost importance that I'm able to keep that same energy. And today, I plan on doing just that, because we need to talk about something that's going on with Microsoft that previously I called out Sony for, so again, I make it my mission in life to try and keep that same energy wherever possible and you know what now Microsoft is basically following the exact same footsteps that Sony is doing they first raised the price of their games to $70 and now they have an unofficial price increase on Xbox Series X consoles no because if Microsoft were following in the footsteps of Sony then they would have actually raised the price of their consoles but that's not what they did the Xbox Series X is the same price now as it was when the shit first launched back in 2020 and the same goes for the Series S. Now you might be wondering, why are you saying that there's an unofficial price increase on Xbox Series X consoles? Because what Microsoft is doing right now is exactly what I talked about with what Sony did with the Horizon Forgotten West bundle for the PlayStation 5. This brings me to the other thing, okay? Sony is not raising the price on the PlayStation 5, but also they kind of indirectly are raising the price on the PlayStation 5 in the United States. Now, I follow a lot of PlayStation 5 restock accounts on Twitter because they send out notifications whenever the PS5 became available. But anyway, I follow these accounts still, and all the time I see the PS Direct restocks go up, and never does PlayStation Direct ever just restock the standalone consoles. You always have to buy what they call the Horizon Forbidden West PlayStation 5 bundle. So you're basically getting a PlayStation 5 and Horizon Forbidden West for I think $550 or $560 if I'm not mistaken. So it's an increased price. Now if you pay attention, what did the price increase across the board on a global scale? $30 to $50. So this new bundle they're selling of the PlayStation 5 in the US, which is the one they restock from their own storefront the most frequently, is this $550. $50 bundle instead of a $500 standalone console. Now this console comes with a copy of Horizon Forbidden West, which because they're the game's publisher, costs them absolutely nothing to include with the console. So For someone who supposedly has a degree in finance, you sure don't seem to understand some basic economic principles. For example, opportunity cost. If Sony includes a game in the bundle, then they won't be able to sell it to you later unless that person just double dips. Which I guarantee, the average person is not going to do. Because if Sony charged $500 for the console standalone and then $70 for the game, that's $570 in their pocket. Whereas if they sell the bundle for $550, which includes the game and the console, that's ultimately $20 cheaper for the consumer. Whereas in those other regions, the actual price of the console is increasing and you're not getting the game. 
So really, they're just making you pay an extra $50 for a game you may or may not want in the first place because it costs them absolutely nothing to include it with the console. So in essence, they kind of have already raised the price of the PlayStation 5 in the United States if they never restock the standalone PlayStation 5 consoles and only restock the Horizon Forbidden West bundle, effectively making up that difference and why they're probably not increasing the price of the base console because they found this bundle has been a good strategy for them and is moving units and they can still make that extra money without appearing to be anti-consumer in a market that they're competing very closely with Microsoft in in terms of the United States. So like I described with the Horizon bundle, Microsoft is not actually increasing the price of the Xbox Series X, but there could be a situation where the only version of the Xbox Series X you see on store shelves is the one with Forza Horizon 5 included as a digital download that you know, you have to buy alongside the console. So if you can never find the standalone versions in the store, you're effectively having to pay an extra $60 for the console, whether you want the game or not. So your whole argument hinges on this hypothetical situation that Microsoft is going to stop making the standalone consoles and only include it in these bundles, which just straight up isn't true. Because while the Series X on its own isn't always in stock, you can usually find one if you're looking diligently. Like, half the time that I walk into my local Target or Walmart or whatever, there's a Series X there. Of course, half the time there isn't, but if you just check every so often, you'll get, be able to find one before too long. Again, I find this really interesting too because Forza Horizon 5 is what, coming up on two years old now? And on top of that, it's a game in Game Pass. So why did Microsoft just make like a Game Pass bundle? Well, that's because it costs them absolutely nothing to give you a copy of Forza Horizon 5, a game that's been out for over a year at this point that most people are probably not buying anymore. But if they lost money on potential Game Pass customers, it would actually be a financial hit and that would not make it effectively a price increase for no reason whatsoever. So that's not a price increase. You're getting both the console and the game, plus all the game's DLC. So technically you're actually saving about $40 because the base Series X price is still $500. The price of the actual game itself is still $60, and then there's about $40 worth of DLC in there. The cost of the bundle would be the same price if you were to buy the base game and the console standalone individually. But if you're going to get the game in Game Pass or just don't care about Forza at all, then here's a bright idea. Don't buy the fucking bundle! So, yeah, there's definitely that. I think no matter how you look at it, it's definitely Microsoft trying to raise the price of Xbox consoles, at least on average. So say they release two bundles for every one standalone, you know, effectively that raises the price of each console by $40 if you do the math. So if three consoles are purchased, one at 500 and two at 560, which is the price of this bundle, you're looking at an average cost of $540 per console purchase. So at the end, it may average out to them basically effectively raising the price of the console by 40 to 50 dollars depending on what the distribution of supply is so but again that's not an actual price increase if the people don't want the extra things included in the forza bundle then they can just buy the standalone series x oh i don't really think there's any way to spend this shit i think it's exactly what sony was doing with the horizon forgotten west bundle where you know microsoft needs to be competitive in the united states market just like sony needs to be because both of them are kind of interlocked in a competition here here in the US. Like, it's a very, very close market. Neither one of them really dominates North America. So this is kind of Microsoft's attempt, I guess, to beat Sony at their own game and effectively raise the price by including a digital game that costs them absolutely nothing to give out that's going on two years old at this point, which I find really interesting because the new Forza Motorsport game is literally coming out pretty soon. So they could have just bundled it with that, but then they would have lost out on the sales revenue on that game, which wouldn't have made it effectively a free price increase. But, you know, as a game, gaming YouTuber, I feel like it's the utmost importance that I'm able to keep that same energy. Well, Griffin, it seems like you really aren't able to keep that same energy. Because earlier you said it was basically free for both Microsoft to include Forza as part of the bundle and for Sony to include Horizon Forbidden West as part of their console bundle because it's their own first-party games. 
but now you're saying it wouldn't have been free for them to include the new Forza Motorsport game in the console bundle. Even though you accuse Sony of putting Horizon Forbidden West for free into their console bundle when the game was new at the time that that occurred. Also, I think the reason why the new Forza Motorsport hasn't been included as a part of the Forza bundle instead of Forza Horizon 5 is probably because the game isn't fucking out yet. Hell, we don't even have a release date for it yet, besides the fact that it's going to be launching sometime this year. Basically, so I think that's important to note. If they actually were just doing it for the sake of bundling a game, then they would give you like an actual new game, like Starfield, Forza Motorsport, Redfall, something like that, but it's... <laughs> Alright, Grifter, explain this to me. How the fuck can they include any of the games you just mentioned in the bundle when none of them have released yet? <laughs> Instead, they're choosing to put a almost, what, one and a half year old game in there, so it basically effectively costs them nothing, even though, like, that game has been available in Game Pass this entire time, so I don't know. I don't think you can really spin this shit as anything other than an obvious price increase without calling it a price increase in the US market. Now, there was an article put out that I just want to read through real quick so I don't miss any detail, so let's go ahead and take a look at that shit. Microsoft has launched an Xbox Series X Forza Horizon 5 bundle. It saves users $40 or £45 compared to buying the included products separately. Priced at $560 or £490, it comes with an Xbox Series X console and Forza Horizon 5 Premium Edition, which includes the base game, its Hot Wheels expansion, VIP Pass, Car Pass, Welcome Pack, and Second Expansion when available. The bundle will be available worldwide. It starts shipping to retailers in the US, Canada, and select Asian markets this week, and to Europe and Latin America, and more regions later this month. Now that is very interesting. I thought at first this was only in the US, but it turns out to be a worldwide thing, so this is effectively Microsoft again copying Sony and increasing the price worldwide by distributing these bundles as as well as, you know, individual consoles to kind of average out the price of the purchased consoles to effectively raise the price across the boards. We have reached peak unself-awareness at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, if Microsoft dares to create a bundle where they have a console and one of their games in there with it, apparently it's just copying Sony's price increase. Buddy, they've been doing this for over a decade at this point. For example, when I got my Xbox One for Christmas all the way back in 2015, it came bundled with a copy of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And there was also several other console bundles that have been released. Like, there was the Xbox One bundle that included Jedi Fallen Order, even though that was also available in Game Pass. There was the Xbox One S bundle that included Halo 5. Hell, if you want, we can go all the way back to the Xbox 360, where they included Halo 3 with the console. And then, of course, later there was another console bundle when Halo Reach released. And probably a whole bunch of others that I'm not even aware of. But yeah, I guess they were just paying an oracle to look into the future to see that Sony would have a price increase for the PS5, and then decided to copy them before Sony ever actually fucking did it. So, first the $70 first party games Microsoft copied from Sony, and now they're effectively raising the console price with this bundle worldwide, so very fucking interesting if you ask me. Buying the Xbox Series X console, $500 or £449, and Forza Horizon 5 Premium Edition, $100 or £85 separately from Microsoft would normally cost $600 or £535. So the bundles offer savings of $40 or £45. Now, this game is coming up on two years old at this point. Like, it came out in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. So I guarantee you, you have been able to get this game on a deep discount multiple times at this point. Not to mention, it's already in fucking Game Pass. So why are they even bundling a Microsoft first party game with an Xbox console when you can play all of this shit on Game Pass anyway, so. For people who don't have a new Xbox Series X console yet and maybe they want to try out Forza. Wow, it's almost like that's the entire fucking concept of bundling a game with a console. Maybe the reason they haven't bought the game yet is because they don't have the fucking console. 
very very interesting and it just kind of backs up my theory that this is them trying to raise the price and disguise it as a bundle but anyway let's continue forza horizon 5 released in november 2021 and enjoyed the biggest launch in xbox history attracting 10 million players in its first week according to microsoft like all microsoft first party games the title is included with xbox game pass and it reached 20 million players in under seven months exactly so most people who have wanted to play this game have either bought it or played it in game pass at this point so microsoft is probably safe in assuming like hey us putting this game bundled with the console is not really going to hurt our sales numbers because let's face it man this game's coming up on two years old it costs them absolutely nothing to print out a code and put it in the fucking box like yes and i hate to break it to you griffin but companies don't actually give a shit about you they're just here to make fucking money. So, if they think that creating a console bundle with this year and a half old game is in the best interest of making them more money, they're gonna fucking do it. Like, literally, absolutely nothing. There's not even really an opportunity cost at this point, because the worst case is, is maybe 10 people go, damn man, I wanted to get Game Pass just to play Forza Horizon 5, and now I'm not gonna buy a Game Pass subscription because I got it with the console. Like, that's what I think is at play here, because in reality, they should have done a Game Pass bundle, but they don't want to lose out on that potential Game Pass revenue, so they'd rather stick a game in there that they know most people who wanted to buy have already bought at this point. Like I said earlier, if somebody doesn't have a console to play the game on, then why would they buy the game? And the answer is, they simply wouldn't. Well, unless of course they're on PC, but I mean, if you have a PC, then you're probably not in the market for a console anyway. But say casual Joe McSchmo over there, who doesn't have an Xbox console, sees the Forza bundle and say, Hey, that looks like an interesting game. I don't have this console. You know, I've been kind of looking for a console to play video games on anyway. You know what? I think I'll buy the Forza bundle. This bundle isn't really meant for people who already have an Xbox Series X that they can use to kind of like justify a bundle price but in reality it really isn't even worthwhile and it's kind of a ripoff no matter how you look at it but you know at least with playstation's horizon forgotten west bundle you know they at least put a game in there that was under a year old at that point so the game had come out like six months prior so it wasn't like you know you're getting a two-year-old game bundled with your console for an extra 60 bucks whereas in this case you're getting basically a two-year-old game bundled with your console for 60 bucks and most likely this is going to be way more in supply than the standalone consoles are in order to like average out that total purchase price across the board for Xbox consoles and effectively raise the price. Okay, Griffin, let's play hypothetical. Let's just say Microsoft is trying to rip off their customers with the Sforza bundle. The simple solution is don't buy the Forza bundle. Just buy the standalone console because believe it or not, you can still do that. Like, I swear, you'd think you'd need a fucking economics degree to figure this shit out, but I can assure you, I only have an associate's in computer science. So, I don't know, man, and on top of that, you know, this game has been in Game Pass since it came out, so it's like, if I'm an Xbox customer buying an Xbox and I'm getting Game Pass anyway, why the fuck do I need to own this game? It just, it really doesn't make sense, and it's pretty blatantly obvious what the intention is here. Because not everybody who's on Xbox wants to subscribe to Game Pass. I mean, personally, I think it's a great deal, and I'd recommend it to anybody who's on Xbox, but not everybody wants to go down that route. Maybe they just only care about a handful of the games on Game Pass and just want to buy them though. Them. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Last year was a quiet year. I mean, that's putting it very lightly for first party Xbox games, but 2023 looks set to be far stronger for the platform holder. Bethesda's Redfall and Starfield are coming in the first half of 2023, with the former reportedly targeting a May release, and Forza Motorsport is also scheduled for release this spring. Which brings up the question if Microsoft was just looking to do a bundle for bundle's sake, they would have done a bundle with these three games coming out. Like, why not make a Starfield bundle? Why not? Not make a Forza Motorsport bundle? Why not make a Redfall bundle? It's because they know most people are done purchasing Forza Horizon 5, so it's effectively getting $60 on top of the console price for literally no extra cost to them. Or it's because Starfield, Redfall, and Forza Motorsport 8 haven't been released yet. Because let me explain something to you, Griffin. Unless you literally have the ability to fucking time travel, it is really difficult to include a game that hasn't even been fucking released yet. Now, maybe when these games are released, we will see these bundles. Who knows? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But they can't do that until the games are actually out. 
and then with those big games coming out it makes sure that people are going to be even more tempted to either go out and buy those games or get a new xbox game pass subscription in order to play them so this is very blatantly obvious to see what microsoft is trying to do with this i don't think there's any other way to sugarcoat it they're basically effectively raising the price of the xbox console even if they're not raising the price of the standalone console when you look at the math and average out the purchasing prices of the standalone console with these bundles that i'm sure are going to be flooded in stores and replacing a lot of the standalone consoles on shelves it'll all average out to effectively them raising the price to combat inflation just like sony did and for that reason i feel like it's important to call a spade a spade and call them out just like i did with sony in my constant pursuit in order to do my best to be able to keep that same energy but if is it to curb inflation maybe but this is not the same way that sony went about it because microsoft is actually including a game in this bundle that actually increases the value of said bundle however if you don't want the bundle you can still buy the console standalone but if you want a PS5, you have to pay that extra money because Sony says, Fuck you, we are greedy, give us money, goddammit. This is in no way, shape, or form the same situation as Sony increasing the price of the PS5. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Are you cool with this new bundle? Do you think it's kind of shitty they're effectively raising the price? Do you think it'll actually be a lot harder to find standalone Xbox consoles now? Or do you think maybe these bundles will be kind of like the minority? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this shit in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I do want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. You guys are the fucking best and I really do appreciate it. So with that shit said, I will catch you guys next next time and just like that the video is over so the key takeaway here is that microsoft releasing a forza horizon 5 bundle for the xbox series x is not the same thing as a price increase because you can still buy the standalone console for the same price that it's been since launch if you think the forza horizon 5 bundle gives you value get that but if you don't care about the extra shit just buy the console standalone but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. And tell me what you think about Grifter Gaming being a grifter again. Anyways, that's it. Peace!